And now let's talk about two local uppercase and two local lowercase. So we've talked previously about two lowercase and two uppercase. These four methods, in most of the cases, they will return the same results. But when using some locals, you're gonna get different results. Well, let's talk about the syntax. So when you call to local uppercase and to local lowercase on your string, this will do the conversion without changing the string, but actually returning the result as a new string. Well, you can call the methods with or without uh, the parameter local. The parameter local can be a string representing the local or can be an array representing multiple locals. In case you pass in an array of locals, the best available local will be used. Well, let's go and see some examples. So I have here a string, Istanbul, the city. I'm gonna assign this to lower. Now let's see the results we're gonna get using different uh, locals, English, US, and Turkish. So if I call to local uppercase with English, US as the local, and then assign this to a const upper because we've said that this doesn't change the original string, so I'm going to get this result, Istanbul or uppercase, and that was expected. But now with Turkish here, because Turkish and some other languages, the case mappings are not the same as the default case mappings in Unicode. This is where I'm gonna get Istanbul or uppercase, but this I here, this I has a dot at the top. So we've got different results using different locals. And now let's go and see some examples with the uh, two local lowercase. So I have here Istanbul uppercase. Again, I have this I with the dot at the top. Now, if I use the local lowercase with English US as the local, now I'm gonna get Istanbul here, although this I here has this dot at the top, I got the expected result. And then if I use Turkish as the local here, I'm gonna get Istanbul lowercase. Uh, as expected also. And that's it for the to local uppercase and the to local lowercase. So let's move on to the next method.